we are in South Beach for Game 3. Well, I wish I was in South Beach for Game 3 of the NBA Finals between the Heat and Nuggets. And let's talk about it here on Hoop Talks. What's up, guys? It's Jelani Goodvajreed along with Noor Zainab here for another edition of Hoop Talks. How are you feeling, Noor? I'm feeling great. But you know who else is uh, like in South Beach right now, Jelani? Ooh. Messi. Me yeah, that's true. Dude. Inter Miami. You heard about How that? How the hell? To MLS from Saudi Arabia Holy. to MLS? And they're, they're giving him a bag I to, to be there. So I, it's it's vibing over there. Obviously, everyone's feeling nice. Yeah. They obviously go to the club and stuff like that. You got the, your nice restaurants, the water. But we got game three. Game three <laughs> of the NBA Finals goes down tonight. So looking at this game, it's a series is tied right now at one. Mm -hmm. The Heat had a really impressive game game two win on the road so right now looking at the series who needs this game more is it denver looking to get back on track or looking at the miami heat really having a stranglehold possibly on this series who do you think I think uh, the whole game plan for Miami the entire way through was when you go to Denver, you try to split the series. You get one and you lose one, whatever happens, but you at yeah. least try to win one. So Denver has probably had the same idea where it's like, okay, well, we'll see what happens, but we're going to go and get one at least in Miami. But I think now it's no longer the question of, well, do you get game three or game four? You now have to get game three if you're Denver. Because if you don't, the, mem the momentum now is on the side of the Miami Heat. They're also going to be playing game four in Miami after winning two in a row one at home and yeah. you don't want them feeling good about themselves at all we've yet to see a jimmy butler performance so kind of capitalize on that make sure you don't get that because if he does go off let's say tonight and they do win um the odds of him going off again in game four in miami is probably going to be pretty high so let's make sure that he's not feeling himself as well and miami's obviously the uh the hobbled team there they're, they're without teller hero they weren't supposed to be there either they were a playing team so yeah. for me it's definitely all falls down to denver i think they've got to come out and win this one on top but what about you what i got a disagree Agree. I think this is more important for Miami. Really? I think just to, like I said, get a stranglehold on this series. Yeah. That will, if they win tonight, I think that really changes things. I think it's huge for them. Rather than going down 2 1, I think looking at it as, you know, being up 2 1 and then having an extra game in game four at home to possibly go up 3 1 against a number one seed, the momentum would definitely shift. And I, I think that with Spolstra having a lead, in a series is different than any other coach oh, in my 100%. personal opinion and th that pro probably will give them time like i don't know what's happening with hero right now but that gives them time to wait possibly and see you know happens. yeah and i i think they've been doing a good job against denver they're holding them to like 106 per game which is great because mm -hmm. denver can score um so you're looking at that you're looking at how their shooting was there in game two if they could continue to be hot the pressure will go on, on Denver. And yeah. like you mentioned, Denver would have to be like, what, what's going on here? What's going on here? So I think it's more important for Miami, in my opinion, to get it done right now. Interesting. Because, okay, you, you, you steal one on the road. That was the point. The point yep. was to split it, right? Just, just get one exactly. in Colorado. Now, you're back home. And if you could just have your mojo, have that momentum, I think it's I think it's huge. That's so, interesting. Because yeah. in my eyes, too, the way I look at it is Miami's always been that team that kind of bites you from behind. You know, like they kind of creep up on yeah. you. So I almost am wondering, like, I don't know, like based off your record, like do you not care about winning series like early on? Because you know that they can come back and win them in game six or game seven too, right? I don't know. I wouldn't I, gamble with I mean, Denver. I mean, no, absolutely. Because, like, yeah, absolutely. It's different than Boston. Boston, you know, sometimes they, they just aren't there yeah. mentally. Um, you know, with Giannis being out a couple games. like So it's a different look now with Denver being that team That's that, true. you know, when, when they're up, they want to like just get rid of you quickly. So yeah. I think it's easier or sorry, it's better, I should say for Miami to really key in on getting it done right now because they do have home court now. If you're yeah. looking at the remainder of the series, they have home court. So that's why I think it's more important for them. But Noor, looking at this game, give me an X factor for both teams, if you could. Like, who's somebody that needs to step up in Game 3? Um, I think for me, for the Miami side, I'm going to see the look at the role players, not just one in particular, but yeah, Gabe Vincent, so Max Drews, yeah, Duncan Robinson, anybody who's outside of Bam Adebayo, Jimmy Butler, Kyle Lowry, Kevin Love, like the guys are going to be on the perimeter. Mm -hmm. I think they need to show up every single game because Miami is not going to win unless those threes are being drained. And that's what they're good yeah, at. They're true. good at shot checking from the three point line. They're good at getting those shots in. And uh, I think to that point too, it's going to come down to Nuggets on their side. I'm looking at Mike Malone. 
and I'm looking at mm-hmm. how he adjusts his defense to Miami's offense because we saw last game Miami went 49% from three and they took 86% of their shots outside outside of the, the restricted area. Mm-hmm. So that shows that not only were they taking them, they were going in and the defense for, for Denver wasn't there at all. So I want to see what uh, Mike Malone does there to see how he can limit Miami's production because you can stop Butler, out of bio, whatever, but if yeah. the guys around them are going to get going in the perimeter, this something has to be done to limit those threes because when you get when you have a game of threes versus twos or threes versus threes, it's going to be whatever team scores the most threes. The most, and if yeah, Miami's going to score the most threes, like they might take that one. What about you? Who do you think is going to be the key guy or the key people right. for Miami? Well, for Miami, it has to be Caleb Martin, in my yeah. opinion, because he's been really quiet. We saw the conference finals and how like even myself, I felt like he could have gotten MVP. Yeah. The way he was playing, I know Jimmy's still there, but the way he was playing, he really like helped them get to that next level against Boston. So, but now he's taking a drop off, like a major drop off. Two games, only six points, three points in each game. He's better than that. Yeah. He's better than that. You're looking at his numbers, like the shooting wise, two for ten uh, shooting from the field, and he's only two for four from downtown. So mm-hmm. he hasn't really been taking those jumpers like we saw. The volume hasn't been there as much. Hopefully, he gets in those spots. He's at home, so role players they. They feel more comfortable at home, yeah. right? They know the Nets. They they understand the environment, the atmosphere. They're more comfortable in that spot. So maybe he shows up. I think if he has a good game, then it's gonna really open things up because we saw with with mm. Gabe, we, uh, we saw with Struess, especially Struess. Like he he really quarter. opened things up in that last game. So probably Martin for this one, and then for Denver, I'm looking at Michael Porter Jr. I keep I, oh, I know yeah. I keep bringing him up. <laughs> I'm sorry for keep keeping on bringing him up, but he's so important to this team and. He has not played well. I let's just be real about it. He's a lot better than what he's shown us so far. Let's look at the, let's look at these numbers right now. Okay, two games, nineteen points. Okay, he's better than that, right? He only had five in the in the last game. And then looking at these tour dates, seven twenty four. That that's him from the field. These tour dates. <laughs> okay, and three of seventeen from downtown. Okay, so look, and that that that's not March seventeenth. That's three for seventeen <laughs> from downtown. He's better than this, yeah. okay? Michael Porter Jr., if he can get himself to to just see the ball go in. Because I think that's the other thing. We, we saw it last game. He didn't really have that, that mojo, that fire, because he was missing shots. So that really affected him on both sides of the mm-hmm. court. And that you know carried over throughout the the rest of the game because early on he wasn't hitting shots. So if he could be you know good from the get-go, that really helps out Jokic 100%. because he'll have help. And it won't just be uh, Jokic and Murray. Murray also has to to play a bit better. They did, you know, give him a different look in game two. The Heat mm-hmm. did. But I think Porter Jr. has to play well, in my personal opinion. What do you think? Do you think uh, with him, my question was last game, because he had such a, as you said, drop off from game one to game mm-hmm. two, where even if his offense isn't going, his defense is so important to this team and to limiting all these guys, where, again, as we said, Denver's defense was not there at all. It yeah. just felt like the perimeter was wide open. It's like, you want to take a shot Miami? Try it. You'll probably get it in. And that's what happened the entire, uh, the second half, it felt like, in the first yeah. qu- the first quarter too with Max Drews there. So, do you think it was just the shots not going in for uh, Denver's offense or do you think it was Miami's defense that again not to bring up Eric Spolster I know he has his question but do you think their defense was garnered more towards stopping guys like Michael Porter and Caldwell Pope and you know even Jamal Murray well I think Miami's done a good job in the playoffs in terms of the zone and that's what we're seeing a lot especially with this Denver series zone they've held teams to 31% from downtown and like 42 43 ish from the field so those are pretty good numbers when you're looking at the teams they played against Miami okay they played against the best offenses in the league, my uh, Milwaukee. You're looking at the Celtics. fact that the Denver Nuggets and Celtics, of course, mm-hmm. and the Knicks. You know, <laughs> but yeah, so they've they've done a good job in that area. But I also do think it was just a game where Denver didn't hit their shots. Yeah, that's why I still believe Denver can make this a quicker series because if the if they can shoot the ball well, that will carry over on both sides. Their offense will get going, and that will you know we'll probably see more effort. And, and more intensity on the defense. That's what we did. Because they weren't doing two. anything. They weren't defending, and their yeah. shots weren't going in. Yeah. And, you know, Jokic had a great game, but Jamal Murray was kind of a known He's factor, okay. I would He's say, like, the entire game, too, kind of felt like, right? Like he, had, he had great points, but in terms of his impact on the court, it wasn't really there. It could have been more. It could, exactly. We know him to be doing more, so yeah. he could have been more. So I think, like, seeing that, it almost felt like, because I think you're right, like, 
Denver definitely has it's a better team. They have so much more depth there. Mm-hmm. But it also solidified to me that for Miami to win a game in this series, they have to do everything right, which is That's make true. sure the role players show up. Bam has a great game. Jimmy Butler, I guess Jimmy, we haven't seen him be him, but Jimmy still needs to be a like an impactful person yeah. on the court, you know, still be that anchor guy. Eric Spolster has to be on his A game, making sure that every adjustment is being made in that moment. And then on the other side, Nuggets have to miss every single shot. They have they can't defend shit from the three point (laughs) line. So I'm wondering, I'm like, is this this was this the perfect scenario for Miami? And then moving forward, maybe they won't see that again. I don't know. I'm not sure, but like on that Murray point, he he's only like averaged like around 22 points in these two games that would be his lowest in, since 2019 for a playoff series i know it's only been two games yeah. it's a quick you know uh series so far but that's that's something to look at but let's move now just quickly on this point of tyler hero like there, he's not going to be available for game three but do you think he's going to help or hurt the heat if he comes back because that's the debate I think I th- he said so himself, right? He was asked about coming back. He was asked about how he's feeling. And he said that there's if there was a way for him to play, he probably would. But now the, the, pro- the question is, how would his rust impact the team that already has a groove going right now in the finals? And I think he's doing the right thing here where he's choosing to sit out. As we know, he was ruled out for today's yeah. game. He's choosing to sit out because he, we know he's going to be a, a major impact on the court, especially offensively. Right. That he could use him any day of the week. He's one of their, he's probably would say he's, if not their best scorer, but their second yeah, best second scorer, best scorer this right? season. on the season. Yeah. Absolutely. So I would, I think his, his need there is so important, but we need him to be healthy. He can't come in on many his restriction mm. he can't come in and uh, screw up the flow of the offense and just make guys already have a consistency moving forward on the court kind of like disrupt that but yeah. at the same time i feel so bad for him because imagine being and knowing that you're the yeah. second best scorer of the squad and knowing how much your team needs you in that moment and having to watch from the front row seats yeah. right there it's the nba finals but you just can't be on the court. I know. I, I'd be pretty annoyed. I remember OG Ananobi. He can yes. participate in the 2019 run. So I, I felt bad for him. And for like that too, where it's like those players probably won't get the chance again in the next couple it's, of years. It's not guaranteed. Yeah. It's definitely not guaranteed. I know he's been to the like 2020, but still like, and I think personally real quick, it wouldn't be a problem if he comes back. I don't think, you know, a 20 point per game score is going to hurt you. Yeah. And, and let's, let's face it. He's not going to play 25 plus minutes. Yeah. No. His minutes are probably going to be around like 10 or 12. You can't just throw him in playoff intensity, finals intensity like that. So it would probably be taken down a notch. But I I still think Tyler would help them out. In uh, some way, same shape or form, right? In the perimeter, you just leave him stranded in the three-point line, just, you know, kick the ball out to him. He'll get that shot and no problem. But, yeah, it's it's an interesting thing because I think he was the one who called the shots here. He was like, I think I will sit this one out. And just to end off this show, we we talk about debates all the time, and there's one (laughs) going on right now. Jokic... And, and Jimmy Butler, obviously the stars of both respective teams. But, Noor, who would benefit more from a ring? That is such a good question. I was thinking about this, and I told myself, I guys, I sat back, I had a list going, and I said, you know what? No, because I couldn't figure out what the list was going to look like. So I'm like, I'm going to sit here in front of you guys and think out loud. Because Jamal... Why? <laughs> Jamal, Jamal Murray. Murray. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy Butler. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jimmy Butler has been through it all. He mm-hmm. was called out. He was called the locker room cancer. He was kicked to the curb. Yeah. He was told he was not going to be a good player. And he, I mean, look at his uh, his come up as well, right? Like he was homeless. He wasn't going to, he wasn't one of the stars of the NBA that he is now. So he grew up from a very difficult time when his childhood to get to where he is now, where he was yeah. told that he's not really an NBA player either. He's not really a big uh, scorer, right? So he had to, he says this himself too. He says that for me, it's not God-given talent. For me, it's talent that I have to work really hard at. And then because of all that, look at how he went through with the Timberwolves, with Philly, with all those teams. And to be where he is right now, I think winning would mean so much to him. But on the other side, you got Nikola Jokic, (laughs) who's one of the best players in the league, if not the best alone. And he's been with the Nuggets kind of like, just hoping to get over that little bump and make it to the finals and then also win that for himself because he knows what that would mean for his legacy down the line and how people I know maybe players don't care but how you are viewed in terms of yeah. when you have rings is a whole different ball game right so I think that would easily cement him as one of the goats if he had a ring next to him too so both of them could use it Jelani <laughs> I don't know what do you think before I yeah, make up my mind yeah no I was gonna say Jimmy just because I think that really really moves him into 
the Hall of Fame. Yeah. I really think it solidifies him as a Hall of Fame player. Do you think he's already there? He's a borderline. Like he's close. Okay. We've seen guys of his level get in, so probably, but I would just think like there would be no debate anymore about it since he's gotten to Miami. This team has had the most playoff wins. Okay, in the last four years, I don't think people yeah. know that Jimmy Butler has had that impact. He's had like eight games of forty plus points in the playoffs. He's a playoff performer. I think a ring, beating the number one seed yeah. as an eighth seed. As okay, the first team. eighth seed to win it all. I think this would be arguably the best run ever that we've seen. Milwaukee, number one seed, best overall record, beating a good Knicks team, beating a Celtics team, second best record in the league. Denver, best team in the West, okay, with my MVP. I know he didn't win it, <laughs> but my MVP, Jokic, I think Jimmy Butler would benefit. I understand your point, though, on Jokic. No, but I think you're right, because I think for yeah. me, he will take the he will take it over yeah. as well. And it's just the mere fact that like where he came from, what he's doing with That's all these it. teams now too, and um, yeah, he just deserves it. And like, if you see it now too, with like how they do their post game and their pre game interviews, mm-hmm. it almost looks like they know like a documentary is being made right yeah, now it on seems this like whole right? season, right? Like they're like, okay, I know we're doing something yeah. remarkable, like milestone ish, and well, everything they say just seems like well, that's gonna be a good quote one day. That's true, but yeah, I just I just think that Philadelphia, Minnesota. They all made a mistake. Mm. Even Chicago, they made a mistake. Y'all made a, made a mistake when it came to Jimmy Butler. Okay, put some respect <laughs> on his name. I still, though, I still got Denver in this series. <laughs> I still got Denver in the series, but we'll see what happens tonight in Game 3, live from South Beach. Y'all better be watching. Don't be watching Netflix or Disney+. Plus. There's nothing on there right now. Okay, Game 3, NBA Finals. We'll see you next time.